Okay guys, here's another irrigation tip for the day. Okay guys, I know you've seen this in your art before, where you have a geyser shooting way up in the air, shooting way up in the air, and it looks so bad, you can see it, 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 it looks like a rainbow of water. Well, here's a tip on how to fix that professionally. That way you're not calling guys like me to come out there and fix it for you, okay? Step number one, turn the clock off, okay? Turn the clock off, don't be a nitwit, okay? Because reclaim water, city water, it's not pressure to knock your block off, okay? And spray in your face, okay? Turn the water off first, make sure nothing pops up in your face. And then next, uh, wait till the water goes down, dry it out, you unscrew the head, okay? Take out the ground nice and easy because you don't want to cross thread it, right? And if the stem is not broken, if the stem is not broken, you can still be able to buy a nozzle, depending on the kind of brand of head you have. You have a Rainbird, a uh, four inch pop-up, or a six inch Hunter, four or six inch. You can just replace the nozzle with your local box store, with your local irrigation supply store, and just replace the nozzle, okay? Do a little top swap right there, and then just put the nozzle right back in, and put it back in the ground at the right depth. The depth is everything. A lot of people buy these donuts and all that there, and eh, they're good, but they, they kind of make the work harder. What you want to do is make sure that sprinkler head is low enough that way this big lawnmower or lawnmowers like this don't run the head over or it doesn't chop it up with his blades. Okay, you see how we just zoom right over? Okay, you wanna make sure that a mower can be able to just hover, hover over that head, okay? And now, once you have that head set right, okay, at at least an inch below the ground, so a mower can go over it, put the head back in the ground, okay? If the stem is not broken, Put the nozzle on, turn the water on, and there you go, okay? And that's another pro green irrigation tip for the day.